All right, so we're going to move on to importing some Rhino masses um, in order to create what you see right here in PDF um, in Revit. So <clears throat> I'm just going to show you the Rhino file that I have. I've actually uploaded these Rhino files for you as SATs. But basically what we have are, pl are closed poly surfaces. And it's very important that these be closed poly surfaces. So an, an SAT file, something that's watertight, that has the math that Revit can read as a solid. And so basically what I have here, if I come in and take a look at this in wireframe, is <clears throat> what we're going to import is this piece right here which there are two separate masses there and one in the middle. And what you want to do typically when you're in Rhino uh, before you <clears throat> export is you want to have whatever you're exporting on zero, zero. There are ways around it, but basically what I'm going to do is move this piece let's get over 200 feet right to where it's located on the Rhino 00. zero. It just makes it easier when we bring it into Revit because it will match up the 00. zero. You'll also notice that in my elevation I've got the base of it directly on Z0. So just make sure that you orient your file correctly. <clears throat> now the second part is the export part which is actually pretty simple. I'm going to export these two separately. So I'm going to pick holding down the shift key those two and I'm going to go to file export selected and I'm going to pick the ACIS SAT okay and then I'm just going to give it a destination put it in my Rhino files and I'll save over this Rhino export right here and you can <clears throat> click save and I'll just click yes to overwrite it and you can use the default settings I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to do the same thing for this other so file export selected <clears throat> it's already set to the SAT file type and I'm going to pick partial here and I'm going to click save and click yes and click OK alright so that's basically the export process pretty simple and straightforward the next thing we'll do is import it into Revit